Cross and the Light, a baptism of the imagination. Rock your faith in this spectacular musical and video surround experience. This thing is absolutely the epitome of Christian media performance and talent and craft. Where are your miracles now? It's a story of common men and women just like us. They find themselves called on an incredible journey. From Christ's joyous entry into Jerusalem through his horrible murder. And to the surprising events that transform their lives. Turn this water into wine. Give us a sign. This is a 2,000 year old story that everybody knows, but the way it's presented is relevant in the 21st century. From the cross. It was our sin that put Jesus on the cross, yet he forgave me. That's ultimately the gospel story. Give me the suffering is too much to bear. Will they understand? The cross and light ought to be on Broadway. This will involve you, connect you, engage you, and it's absolutely a life changing experience. It blew me out of the water. Are you kidding me like this? It's such a joy. It was amazing. It gave me chills. I loved it. I'm going to be telling everybody I can about it. Don't miss this life-changing event. Book the Cross and the Light today. After I saw the show, my first thoughts were finally, I finally have seen a Christian presentation that was worthy of the message. So when I saw the show, the way Kelly pulled it down, I was ecstatic. I was in tears actually, because I had not seen anything like this. I mean, this sort of presentation deserves actually absolutely the best in talent and production values, and it was all there. I've been gifted with the gift of faith, so it's not like the show increased my faith, but it did increase my faith in Christian producers' ability to actually represent the good news in an excellent and, and superior way. I mean, to be able to demonstrate and dr dramatize the gospel in a way, in a church, in a, in, a, in a way that is absolutely going to capture people's attention and engage them emotionally so that they get it, so that they're on pins and needles. I was sitting there in my pew with my mouth jaw dropped through the whole thing. I said, this is incredible. Finally, something this great. So the long-term effect, I, I think that the concert will bring, it's just hopefully it'll set a new standard for Christian media and other producers will rise to the occasion. When an audience member has to work to think about, what is that? What's that? How does those things connect? Oh my goodness, look, that's, that's projected over the crucifix on the wall or the cross on that wall. When the audience has to figure that out, they get emotionally and intellectually engaged. And suddenly the performance in the show makes a connection, an intellectual and an emotional connection with the audience. This happens subliminally, but they start trying to figure out What's going on? What's working? What is this about? Let me figure it out. Make me work. That's how all good motion pictures, how all good novels work. They make the audience work to understand what's going on. If they don't work, they don't get it. After the show, I was just, I was absolutely ecstatic. I said, finally, I've lived long enough to see something really great. Uh, the gospel presented in a church the way it ought to be presented in a, in a show form the immersion experience, I, I was just so thankful. TCTL is an international, critically acclaimed musical and multi-sensory video experience of Jesus' death, resurrection, and the coming of the Holy Spirit on Pentecost. It's an authentic biblical proclamation of the greatest love story of all time. With no religious compromises, church testimonials from Detroit to Australia, killer theatrical reviews, 
over 90,000 people in attendance, and standing ovations at every show. Remember the reason most young people are leaving the church? They feel it's boring and not relevant, and as a result, they don't think it's true. That's why we've spent over a million dollars developing this high-tech, contemporary musical production to immerse people in Jesus' story of love and mercy and make it exciting and relevant in the 21st century. And we can prove it works. Professor Michael Garver saw the show in 2014. This experience affected him so deeply that he conducted a customer experience research study to see if others felt the same way, and the results were astounding. Our customer satisfaction score was the same or higher than the best companies in the US, Amazon, Apple Computers, and Federal Express. 86% were extremely satisfied with the event. 89% felt emotionally moved during the event. Isn't that amazing? But that's not all. We also have the highest net promoter score in the country. Dr. Garver was blown away. 77% said, yes, I would recommend this event to others. That is the essence of evangelization. And it's exactly what our church needs now more than ever. So why is TCTL so effective? We've harnessed the power of theater and music to emotionally connect people to not only the story of Jesus in the Bible, but to every human emotion along the way. TCTL works because it immerses people and all of the senses into his story. It's a baptism of the imagination with the technical wow factor that our young people need to be engaged. We transform the walls of the church back into a sacred storytelling vehicle like in years past, surrounding people with dramatic cinematic imagery, the baby in the manger, the cross, the nails, the storm cloud, the lightning, the empty tomb, and take people on a deeply moving musical journey through Christ's passion, resurrection, and the coming of the Holy Spirit on Pentecost. There's nothing like it anywhere in the world. Now, we don't work with just anyone, but if you're serious about hosting TCTL to give your flock a spiritual wake-up call to reignite their faith, schedule a meeting today by calling 734-788-7073 or fill out the online form at crossandlight.com. Don't delay. Performance weeks are limited and filling up fast. The amount of people who've turned away from the addictions of this world because of this show is truly remarkable. To see our priests coming out of confession crying because of the power of the confessions that they heard, for our priests to be saying, this is why I became a priest, is amazing. It was a big risk, but it was worth every penny of it. It was a way to transform our community in which we will never be the same. <laughs> this is Pope Francis, joy of the gospel, for sure. It, it, it amazingly surpassed my expectations. The lyrics, the lyrics and the music, all original, and, and, and just, you know, I would say perfect because I kept looking for religious compromises. There were none. In my mind, it is right up there at perfect. God bless you. This show was so insane, just to, you know, just to live what these apostles went through, through the crucifixion all the way to the Pentecost, just to know what they felt and how they reacted. If priests brought this to other churches, it would, like, their youth group, their youth ministry would explode. If people open their hearts and open their minds and feel what we felt here today, we could set the world ablaze. Anywhere you lead, we follow. Oh, Jesus, we have cast our nets aside. Our homes and our families left behind. We walked away from everything we knew. We would gladly give our lives to be with you. My time is coming, soon I will be gone. 
Your faith in God must always keep you strong. Flesh and blood will perish after time. Your faith will see eternal life. God's will be done. Into his kingdom I will come. Anywhere you go, we go. Anywhere you lead, we follow. Anywhere you go, we go. Anywhere you lead, we follow. Anywhere you go, we go. Anywhere you lead, we follow. Anywhere you go, we go. Anywhere you lead, we follow. We will follow. Anywhere you go, we go. Anywhere you lead, we follow. 